Today, we're checking out an absolute showstopper. This 1969 Camaro convertible is probably one of the nicest around. It's got about 120 miles on an, a full rotisserie restoration. Um, or what, what did the previous owners say they spent on the restoration of this car? John said about 130,000, but we don't have all the documents or records with it. But if you go around the car, you can just tell the quality of the build. And when you do something to this quality, I mean, it's not cheap. No, it's not. Absolutely beautiful car, inside and outside, whether you're looking at it in your garage or out in the sunlight, um, just a beautiful car. Yeah, I love the front end on it. I mean, the front end is absolutely gorgeous. Super sport, convertible, hugger orange, black canvas top. What more would a guy want? Yeah, not to mention a 69 Camaro at that. You know, arguably the best gear of the Camaro. It's got a four-speed automatic transmission. Um, and just an awesome drivetrain on it with the Willwood four-wheel disc brakes. Aluminum heads. I mean, this is not a driver. I mean, it's definitely a, uh, what well, is a driver? I don't know how to put it. But I mean, it's a trailer queen that you can drive, mm -hmm. put Absolutely. it that way. But that's kind of how I like them personally. I mean, if you're a perfectionist and you want one of the best Camaros around, I mean, in my opinion, this is one of those cars. Yeah, it's no different than buying a, a new, you know, Shelby Mustang and driving it. You know what I mean? These cars oh, are yeah. meant to drive, take downtown, have some fun with. Uh, it's got a blueprint uh, engine in it, aluminum heads. Aluminum radiator. It's got the uh, electric fan, serpentine belt system, Willwood four-wheel disc brakes. I mean, the best of everything. You know, that's, that's the thing with this uh, beautiful Camaro. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just, <laughs> no matter where you look, like you said, the paint is still wet. The jam paint is perfect. The firewall paint. You just won't find many cars done to this caliber, period. Especially not a 69 Camaro convertible. Go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Wait till you see the undercarriage photos. I mean, it just looks just as nice as the rest of the car. I like that they did the 383 uh, badges on it mm -hmm. as well. It's got the Foosh rims on it. Again, those Willwoods. And again, with all the upgrades it has too, it's you know built to drive with the four-wheel disc brakes, the four-speed automatic. You know, oh, you got the, yeah, you know? the high horsepower small block, which makes it really nice for taking off, schooling tires, having fun with, but also, you know, those engines you can push a little higher to RPMs. Exactly. Bottom of the door fits great. I mean, look at the quality of the, the door jam paint. We already kind of showed you how nice the engine bay is. Door panels are mint. We have probably one of the nicest lineups of 69 Camaros we've ever had. Sitting over there is that beautiful um, yellow on yellow houndstooth 1969 RS. And we got this Camaro convertible. We've got a gold four speed 69 mm -hmm. coming in. That's awesome. We've got a 68 big block RS. Yeah, they're, uh, they're all sweet, but this one kind of takes the cake another for Another 69 Resto Mod Red. Yeah, this one's the absolute nicest of all of them and you know what else it's got the rosewood steering wheel with tilt wheel and factory tack am fm digital radio that looks pretty much original um, look at the you know how they did this they put the four speed automatic transmission in it got the right shift indicator all the gauges power top dash is awesome all the lights work in there. Corner of the doors, both sides are perfect. You go to a lot of dealerships, Dalton, this car is a six-figure car all day long. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, absolutely. they're asking, and we are um, well under that, and uh, it's a perfect car. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't seen really anything going around it that hasn't been restored. You know, even when you get to the trunk, even the trunk latch and everything's been... Even the seat backs, done. the dash pad. Yeah, I feel there's a couple little scuffs, I guess, on this Argent right here um, from the top being up, but. Wow. All new bolts bolt for the spoiler. Even your trunk hinge. I mean, they didn't, they didn't, uh, for any expense when they did this car. No, I mean, that's why I had 130,000 bucks in it or whatever. I mean. If you're gonna spend that on a car, what better than a 69 Camaro convertible to spend that money restoring? Um, 
just awesome, awesome cars. And again, color, color, color. Mm -hmm. And this color inside goes beautiful. Outside, I would say it's even more beautiful. You get more of that like deeper, you know, orange to it. I'm um, just a super sharp car. It's got a great stance as well. The body lines on the 69 Camaro are just so awesome. The doors are tucked in beautifully on both sides. Back of the hood lines up excellent. Windshield's new, trim around that is excellent. Look how nice that goes up. Pretty fast too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, everything's new on it. Again, the black canvas with a glass back window is awesome. I can just tell by looking at it, this 69 Camaro is gonna look good even with the top up. It does. What a build. And it seals up nice and tight as well. Again, the back window's awesome. The top of the back seat looks great. No wrinkles in that top. Go ahead and fire it up, shall we? I love that it's got a tilt wheel too. You know, it just makes it so much easier to get in and out. Yeah, it does. Sounds great. This is just such a cool car. I mean, not only is it gorgeous and I'm gonna say overly restored, but the main thing you're sitting inside this cockpit here, uh, the main thing is you're sitting inside the, behind the wheel here of this Camaro and you're looking out over the hood, it's gorgeous. I love the chrome louvers, the rosewood steering wheel, the factory tack. Um, again, all new gauges, crystal clear lenses, all new dash with all the chrome and stuff just popping at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the neat thing too is this restoration's got 120 miles on it. The guy just spent 130,000. It's like you're buying, you know, a car that was just restored, but paying 40,000 less for the restoration. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at the oil pressure, Dalton. So we're at 65, 60 pounds of oil pressure at an idle, and we're idling 600 RPM. Gas gauge is working, amp gauge is working. Temp gauge, we don't know yet. Um, nice little stereo with the factory speaker up here. The, Top of the dash is painted gorgeous. Wipers, arms, let, everything's brand new, that, and they work great. Dash lights work, horn works. It is missing the heater controls here, so that's one thing that needs to be done. Um, it looks like they put an AC compressor on it, like the Vintage Air compressor's on there, but it's so. not hooked up. Are you sure? Yeah. Dude, it's got the fuel. Can you roll up your window or no? I'll just we'll have, yeah, I can, but I was having windows down today. Oh, okay. Right. We'll roll her up. Sits and idles great, though. Yeah, it? it really does. And the fuel injection, you know, with the 120 miles, it's still in the learning stage, you know, uh, for the first few hundred miles. Um, then it kind of self tunes. First thousand miles is what they really, what they say. really say on yeah. it. Yeah. Still kind of in the self tuning stage. Transmission's nice and crisp, ain't it? But I love that whistle. That car is, it's got a ton of balls, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Suspension feels really good too, going over the pothole. As far as the alignment, it's absolutely perfect. The steering wheel is straight as hell. Suspension is awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Here's our brakes. Yeah, brakes, four wheel disc brakes, the boosters way up, you know, the pedal's way up there with that wheel width booster. I don't know what this guy's doing. It's like slowing us down here. He's being a pace car. <laughs> Speedometer works great, factory tack works. Um, the only thing I'm seeing right now is that maybe the temp gauge doesn't work, we'll find that out a little bit. Yeah, a lot of got a ton of pull, doesn't yeah, it? Does. All right, back at the seat. It's still pulling the whole time at 4,000 RPM right there, 70 mile an hour, just like that. Yeah, this thing's sweet. I love that like whistle sound from that uh, 
fuel injection. And if you go fast, you want to stop fast. And with these Willwoods, I mean, the Willwood four-wheel disc brakes is absolutely the best on the market. Um, but it costs a lot of money too. So in this car, if you're going to build a '69 Camaro convertible, this is exactly how you do it. You know, the four-speed, the four-wheel disc brakes. You know, and it's all done and freshly done. It's just ready to go. So let's uh, go through the gears just one time. Yep. I did not. That was second, first, second, third. Right there, boom, boom, boom. Sweet, <laughs> huh? It's like a getaway car. Yes, it definitely is. So, fantastic. Now, if you're looking for just a badass 69 Camaro convertible. There, I just jumped it down up and four. Look at that. This thing hauls the mail. Yeah, so this isn't just a trailer queen. It's something that drives as nice as it looks with a shitload of power. Yeah, couldn't have said it better myself. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Um, links down in the comment section of the video if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, but thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.